Greetings and good evenings, ladies and germs, whatever time it is for y'all. I appreciate you guys rocking with me. It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, back with a brand new trip to the thrift slash probably the biggest cash out I'm ever going to do because my friend from New Zealand, Nate, is back in Houston. He came for the first time last year and now he is here. So I'm gonna go rendezvous with him at the bins. I know he has some clothes on him and then we'll probably hit up some spots throughout the week as well. But believe it or not, it is one of the coldest and rainiest days that I've ever encountered in Houston. Well, at least this time of year that is. But before we get into it, man, I just wanna say I appreciate y'all. Everyone who smashes the like button, who drops a comment, trust me, your comments do not go unread and the love is felt on the most ethereal level. But also, today I am going to be selling some gear on Whatnot. It is a giant sports live. So the day this video drops, which should be a Tuesday, I am going live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on my Whatnot. And on my Instagram, I did a preview of all the gear we have on this show. So that's why you guys should follow me on IG and also on Whatnot. If you guys don't have an account, use the link in the video description. It will get you $15 off your first purchase. I also have redone the Vintage website, which is amazing so thank you guys for shopping on there with me and also i know you guys from my last series want to see the new vehicle i purchased and we are going to shoot that video just give it some time and also i am going to be selling my entire personal collection or at least the majority of it november 21st at 7 p.m central standard time so you guys a bookmark that show on whatnot we're almost to 500 bookmarks so please if 50 of you guys watching this just bookmark that show then i will go ahead and unleash the majority of the heat for my personal collection onto you guys' souls and I start everything at a buck so you guys will probably get a steal and a deal on some amazing vintage pieces. But with that being said, it's time to go ahead and hit the goodwill. I need to throw on a coat because law knows my bony ass probably gonna freeze. But uh, yeah, let's get out there, dude. I appreciate y'all. It's time. It is a cold day in Houston. Walk into the bins, rainy. It's time to go in and find some gear. Let's get it, go, Will. Let's get it. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, the champion Illinois State for the big boys. Perfect. A little Nike, peace, love, Nike. The Death Note tie dye tee? Oh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Dang, this is a cool sheet. Fitted? Oh no, Mickey trying to commit a murder. Oh, oh hey, really? What's up, baby? All the way from New Zealand. Let's get it. Did you find some good shit today? Oh, really? Bro? No. Oh, man. Bro, these boots are crazy. I'm not a boot guy, but these are hard. Aren't these pretty sick? Oh, shit. I'm kind of fucking with the dog. Dang, the peacock finally got his mate. <laughs> finally secured a lady. The frames are really cool. I like this round frame, but it's like messed up. What'd you find, bro? What's the picture? Some, Dude, that one's sick. Japanese lady. That one's sick. So the homie Nate stopped down all the way from New Zealand way into the local Goodwill parking lot. So I gotta see what he's working with, man. It's absolutely mandatory. Where's the $5 pile, bro? There's <laughs> some light shitters, but majority of it's like. <laughs> some shitters, I like that. Hard, this is my friend, but uh, yeah, this is my Dang. So you found all these in New Zealand? Yeah, well, like I did a bit of a buyout from another reseller in New Zealand as well. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, most of it's thrifted. Dang, that is crazy. But like I was explaining to the guys yesterday, like you can go a whole year without finding a vintage band in New Zealand. Like that's why I was wondering. Yeah. Like it's crazy that you have like a little stack. Yeah, there's some Nirvanas. There's some. There's a whole bunch of shit in there. Bro. I got this for you as well. I had to. Yeah, you probably won't ever wear it, but I've got the same one, and they're like rare as fuck in New Zealand. So what the body glove, dude? Yeah, this is yeah, crazy. Dumb, right? <laughs> Dang! Thank you, Nate. Good, bro. Wow. 
This is insane. Dang, an orange task for the little man. Thank you, bro. Look at this. Kiss, farewell. Jim Morrison. There's so much to... Dang, the Manson. Damn, this is crazy. This is the one that I want. Death Rider. That is gangster. Dude, look at the back. You should get it, bro, with the lightning. I'm trying. I told him. There's some crazy heat in this trunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine they lose your bag. You got to scrape, like, just the... Uh, the yeah, screw the rules, play the game. Goldberg, the rancid on the Brocco. So, are you looking for trades or just cash or? Um, I daily want to cash out and then I can focus on, you know, like what I'm bringing back. Yeah. Because how much do you usually take back? Is it just like whatever fits in the bags? Yeah, but I've got a business account now with DHL to like carry shit home if I need to. Oh, okay. But, um, so, you can ship stuff. Yeah. Damn. This is a crazy Washington piece. So we came back to the spot. We got Kinky in the building. Kinky, come say what's up to the people. So we got Nate. We got Kinky. What's up, people? What's good? And dude, Kinky said that Nate looks like my twin, and I think that is true. <laughs> yeah, I got the mullet, the beard, and it's the right color pattern as well. I just emptied out his luggage. We came to a huge deal. Sitting pretty, man. Probably the most I've ever spent in one single cash out, but there's some really cool pieces in the mix, so I definitely do appreciate you, bro. I got you, bro. Hey, let the people know where to find you as well. If you live in New uh, Zealand. Yeah, nice rates vintage on Instagram. Let's go. Oh, but yeah, this is probably like a two and a half foot pile of gear. I'll probably crack into some of this later on. I wish I could have recorded the whole deal, but it took us probably like an hour or so. It was a while, yeah. yeah, it took us a while to come up with the prices to see what everything was worth, but there's some really sick pieces in here. And we had to come inside to the stew because it was cold as all get out outside. But yeah, bless me with the body glove as well. So I cannot thank you enough, man. And I hope I help fund this Appreciate trip, you, man. Absolutely. Vintage dealing all the way from down under. Let's go. All right, y'all. So it has been a week since I last shot the video. And on the rack, I finally have enough hangers to be able to display everything that I purchased from the homie Nate. We actually are going to go thrifting later today. But with that being said, I want to display some of these items. Now, I did rock this Kurt Cobain tee on my whatnot live stream. And this is probably the most valuable piece that I did purchase in this giant buyout. This tee is probably six to seven hundred maybe edging on a thousand it is a european boot i bought a kurt cobain with this color neck before and it was made in spain even though it was a crew neck this is a weird hybrid between a crew neck and a t-shirt but this is one of the craziest pieces i have ever acquired in me life so i'm just going to display some of the grails the other one you guys saw man just a really cool medieval dude on a horse in a lightning storm fire i grabbed the hookups tee which also is gorgeous and as i display these a lot of them are going to be available on my whatnot during my entire personal collection show again get that show to 500 bookmarks guys the link is in the video description for whatnot but yeah i'm gonna run nothing but bangers november 21st on that show and a lot of these will be included okay now this nirvana is like a modern day bootleg i probably will go ahead and rock this a few times i might give it away or sling it on there the harry potter i also do have to rock a couple of times this is just an insane all over print marilyn manson you have the terminator 3 beautiful graphic goldberg john cena a gorgeous Metallica on a giant tag. The Rancid on the Brockham. You also have the Hexen. Also the Slaughter. The Winger. Metallica. And then the Joe Cocker. Pause. Now check out some of these. The Legends of the Fall. Brad Pitt on a horse is majestic. The Kiss. The Tool T perfectly Perfect. distressed. Goo Goo Dolls. We have the Who. Hulk Mania. Taz just dunking the friends led Zeppi Twilight in an XL, which is rare. Dwight Yoakam and then the Megadeth. There's a few other tees 
that I did go ahead and pick up as well. But those are the ones that were really noteworthy. I did grab more wrestling tees and a good probably 20 of the tees that I purchased, I have already sold either on my website, thriftadvintage.com or on the whatnot. But yeah, I just wanted to show off these pieces. Again, I cannot wait to slang them, rock them. But without further ado, man, it is a half off day. So I need to go ahead and get to the next store with Nate and we're gonna pillage this thing. Let's go. All right, guys, it's half off day. We're live outside the Family Thrift Center. I'm with my twin from New Zealand again, trying to bring him in on the half off day with my discount, and I'm gonna see if we can find anything. Hopefully, there is something. We got here early, so we're just gonna see if we can get our hands on any vintage viciousness. Fingers crossed. Oh, let's get ready to suck it! I love the colors on these. These are so sick. They're like Guatemalan jackets. Ooh, and they got two of them. <laughs> Let's run it. Dirty Nautica. Carhartt for 45. I wish I might. So I'd be 23. Classic country. This is a cool little satin jacket. Seven. <laughs> Dang, this majestic mesh jacket is crazy. Look at the back here. 45. Oh, wait a minute. That is insane. Got the Looney Tunes Tweety jacket, two bucks. Nautica, three bucks. All right, big flag Tommy hoodie, two dollars. Dude, the dog fleece is crazy. That's the dog pool tab. And then all the little homies on the back. <laughs> what is this? No way. I pretty much went through all that. <laughs> yeah. You got some button ups? Yeah. You want to put them up. in here? Yeah, because we're coming into summer, so like these are all like, 30 a piece at home, 40 a piece at home. Hell yeah. All right, there's two more, man. Harley Davidson Bluegrass, tie-dye, big boy. It is new, but it is cool. And you got that June New York Yankees jersey. A little bit stained up, but I can fix that. The exclusive section is popping. Yeah, they're charging like 100. Personal file. Tripping. But 50 bucks? That's not that's horrible. Guess, yeah. And then look at this. Oh, the Atlanta. Cool. So this will be 32. Probably grab both. Yeah. But that's like the whole discount, which yeah. sucks. But yeah, these are hard. These are hard for sure. I also found these ties. That's cool. The Mets. Kansas City. I don't even know if I'll get them though, to be <laughs> real. Alright, thank y'all. Alright. Two big old sacks. Okay, y'all. Uh, we are officially out of there. Two best things. Not cheap prices, though. Half off 50, half off 32. But they are very cool. Nate got some things. Showed up and showed out. You know what time it is. Nice little jewelry right there. But yeah, we're going to pack it up and... It might be it. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, that was actually the second to last stop. We did go to an estate sale, but their prices were outrageous. They didn't have any cool clothes whatsoever. But y'all can see it right here, right now. This next tail chirping $100, $50 for me today jacket is nuts. But behind it are all of the items that I am going to be live auctioning today, the day this video originally releases. Once again, on whatnot, 200 plus sports items. All are gonna be starting at a single dollar. So if you guys are in the market for any jerseys, jackets, crew necks, puffers that are sports related, definitely tune in. We got hockey, soccer, football, basketball, a little bit of everything. We even have like Irish field hockey, jerseys dude we, we got it all so definitely be sure to follow me on whatnot my username is thrift god and there is a link in the video description if you guys do not have an account and once again to reiterate i am hoping to get 500 bookmarks on my personal collection live and then i'm gonna sell a ton 
of my own gear that I've had for years. But regardless of that, I just appreciate you guys for watching this video. Shout out the homie Nate. He has traversed back to New Zealand at the point that this video is releasing. And I do appreciate him coming through, blessing me and my son with a couple of pieces and allowing me to cash out on some of the craziest gear I've ever bought in one sitting or I guess squatting standing when I purchased it. So yeah, he didn't want me to reveal how much I spent. It would be good clickbait in a title just because it was an exorbitant amount of cash that I did dole over. So I'm hoping to be able to make some of that back, but I grabbed some crazy one of one or I mean, there were multiple of them, but pretty rare items that is. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed in any form, facet or way, please smash the like button. It is the best way to help me out. It is completely free. You don't have to buy a thing. And extra content is always weekly happening on the streams. It's the holiday season. That's kind of why I'm pushing it because I want to make sure you guys get some nice vintage attire and fire for your missus, your mister, your family members, or your damn self. But until next time, Live the dream, eat that ice cream, subscribe for more content, turn on the bell so you're notified, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.